in this video we are going to look at um, an, a quick example using Horton's law and drainage density. All right, so here I drew out um, uh, a water, or actually, let me draw out the watershed. Here's pretend this is the watershed, right? So within this watershed, there's all these rivers and streams and, and tributaries. And what we want to do is we want to calculate the total stream length and calculate the drainage density. And in order to do that, the problem gives us or let's us assume that all first order streams are equal to 100 feet in length. All second order streams are equal to 200. Obviously this is not realistic, but just to get the concept down, right? So third order are 300 and so on and so forth, right? And they want us to calculate the total stream length and they also give us that the area of this watershed is equal to 1525 acres. All right. So, the first thing we need to do is calculate or actually order these streams, all right? So, using Horton's law, um, every river that kind of starts from almost nowhere is a first order stream, right? So, I'm going to start here in the bottom left. Um, so, this stream right here would be a, a first order stream this would be a first order stream this would be a first order stream this would be a first order stream this one 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 and finally this one these are all first order streams now where a first order and a first order come together they make a two so at this point the stream is two this one and one meet here they make a second order stream. This one and one meet here, they make a second order stream. This one just is lonely. This one and this one meet here, they make a second order stream. This one here, they make a second order stream. One and one here, they make a second order stream, right? So where a two and a two meet, they make a third order stream. So here, they'd be a three. Now here, we have a two and a three, and remember, if there's two different priorities that come together. The one with the highest uh, numerical value uh, takes precedence. So we have a three and a two. The higher number is three, so this is actually a third order stream. We have a three and a one here. The three and a one come here and they make a third order stream, right? And we have a two and a two here. They actually make a third order stream. Now we have, uh, let's do this in purple. We have a three and a three come together, they make a fourth order stream, right? And here we have a, a two and a four, they come together here and they make a fourth order stream. All right, so we labeled everything using Horton's law. Now we need to calculate the total stream length, which is the length of every single one of these uh, rivers or streams or whatnot, right? So. If we went by this rule, all first order streams are 100 feet, all second one, our second orders are 200, all third are 300, and so on and so forth, uh, we'll get our total stream length. Now, our total stream length, I'm going to make it in a little table, we have first order, second, third, and fourth, okay? Right? And Let's count how many first order streams we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen of them. Okay? Second orders we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six of them. All right? All third orders we have one, two, three, four. We have four of them. And all fourth orders, let me do that in red, we have one and two of them. All right, so if we had 13 first order streams, that means our uh, total length for first order streams would be 13 times 100, right? 13 times 100 would give us 1,300 feet, okay? All second orders are 200, and we have six of them, so the total second order stream length would be 1,200, right? For our third priority, we have uh, four of them, and all third ones 
are 300 feet. So 4 times 300 is 1,200. Okay, and for fourth order streams, we have two of them, and they're and each fourth order stream is 400 feet in length. So the total would be 800 here, right? So if we were to add up all these stream lengths, our LT would be uh, 4,500. That's not 45 degrees or 450 degrees. It's 4,500 feet. Okay, that's LT. And our area, so we prioritized everything, and now we need to calculate drainage density. And drainage density is the ratio of total stream length over the area of the watershed. Now, let me rewrite everything here. So drainage is LT over A. Our A is given. It's it's 1525 acres and our LT is 4500 feet okay since LT is in eight, uh, units of feet I want to convert this acres to feet squared right and remember in one or I'm sorry in one acre there's 43,560 feet squared okay and if we did the math there we'd get uh, 66 million uh, 429,000 uh, feet squared so that's this is the area of the watershed and LT is already in feet so if we plugged in the numbers here right four two nine zero 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 over LT we get 6.77 times 10 to the negative fifth over feet, right? Because you have you have a feet squared here, and you have um, uh, feet here. Oh, I'm sorry. This this is actually this is wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me do that again. Drainage density is equal to LT over area. I'm so sorry. LT is. 4,500 feet. Thank goodness I checked the units, right? And area is 6,6429,000 feet squared. You notice that the feet and the feet cancel out, so there's only one feet on the bottom. And you should get 6.7 or 6.77 times 10 to the negative fifth over feet, right? So that's the drainage density. And that was a comprehensive example using. Uh, Horton's Law and Drainage Density. All right.